Good morning. It's another beautiful Maine day, and by beautiful, I mean it's one degree out. We are here at the Penobscot River Trails. Lindsay and I are going to um, cross-country ski into the war warming hut, which is apparently legendary, so we're pretty excited about it. I will tell you all about our trip and why we are crazy enough to go out in this weather. You'll see. It's beautiful. Okay, so a little bit about the trails. It's a 4,375-acre nature preserve that is privately owned by the Butler Conservation Fund. 15.5 miles of hiking, biking, cross-country skiing, and snowshoe trails. And it's open to the public for day use. Pretty exciting. There's two warming huts, which we are really excited about. So here's, I'm sorry it's like the shadow on it, but you can kind of see how the trails run. Here, we're at the, currently at the visitor center. And then we are going to the, war oops, sorry, we're going to the warming hut. Okay, so Lindsay and I are headed to the Pine and Ridges warming hut right here at six kilometers, which I don't know what that means, but it's six times 0.6214 miles. 3.6 miles, she said. I don't do math. Here are the rules. No pads allowed, unfortunately. And um, yeah, you can read it. You can read more on their website, too. Okay, Lindsay's ready. Look how cute she is. Hi. Hi. Okay, so we parked in the parking lot. I'll point the G I'll pin the GPS location so you guys can see. But we're headed to the visitor center where I'm picking up my skis because I don't have skis. So I'm renting cross-country skis today. Um, and apparently there's a bathroom, which I'm really excited about. But look how beautiful this is. All right, here's the gear available for rent. Or actually, I didn't pay anything. I have my ski boots. Oh, we're good. And then here, there's the bathrooms. There's the ski boots. It's really nice. Ta -da. Okay, off we go. I got my rented gear, borrowed gear. I did give a donation. There's a donation box. So bring some cash so you can give back to the community that helps you out. And we're going to say. Bye. All right, which trail are we doing? Here we go. Okay, Lindsay and I are coming to you from the Silver Maple Trail. It's very nice, beautifully groomed trails here. And we are side by side on the trail. So I guess I should go catch up with her. But here is a video of me cross-country skiing. Oh, not graceful. So graceful. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna fall if I don't stop. Okay, here we are. We're going to the left to follow the Riverside Trail. Lindsay just told me it's the halfway point and she slid off down there. She's too quick. I couldn't get her. I'm not going to try to, 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 uh, not going to, try to attempt to film that because I will fall. But um, it's going to be fun. Okay, bye. Okay, well, I fell anyways. And my water bottle flew out. So watch out for your water bottles. Watch out for flying water bottles. Okay, here's a little tutorial as to how to go up. So up hills on cross-country skis. You have to turn them to the side, turn your knees in, and wobble wobble. Do the wobble wobble. Wobble wobble. And then a wobble wobble. Might not be the right way to do it, but it works. Okay everybody, great news. Just in the nick of time, right when I was starting to get hangry, we have arrived at the Pines and Ridges Warming Hut. And we have 0.3 kilometers to go to the warming hut. Lindsay says it's uphill, and I'm probably going to hate it. She has a water bottle issue, too. I don't see it, but let me come closer. Okay, we found the hill. We've decided to take our skis off for this, because, wow. But look at this beautiful... This one's a little bit better. Um, so we just skied all the way along the river. It's really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go to the warming hut where I can have lunch. Okay, here's the warming hut. There's the toilet. Porte porte. And here's where we're going. There's Lindsay. She's home. Welcome home. Just gonna 
live here for a while. Okay, here's some woods. Peekaboo, there's Katahdin. Okay, for lunch today, we brought this buffalo chicken salad that Lindsay made. It's very nice, and I have my cliff blocks to keep me from bonking, and we might have some cribbage. And then, do 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 do. If you look out the window, you can see Katahdin. I have to zoom in. Oh, there's the nice edge. Right there. Hello. Good morning, that you just had lunch. It was awesome. Um, it is a little chilly in here today, so there's a fire if you need it. Um, I'm sorry that we didn't do it because we received some lunch, and we have these Katahdin. Lindsay will now show you around the warming hut. Spinny, spinny action. Hmm. We are the only ones here today, which is awesome. So, we coil it outside, and I have twelve light. Okay, we gotta go because it's cold. Okay, we're headed back along the river. Here comes a Lindsay. Okay, here's a nice view of the lovely banks of the Penobscot River. We have these nice bridges here, thank you. All right, along the river. Leslie and I have decided we're gonna come back and do canoeing in the summer, pretty excited about that. Okay, and that's a wrap. I'm coming to you live from the trailhead where we started, the visitor center. It was awesome. Um, all in all, it took us about three and a half hours and we went a little over seven miles. And I highly recommend it. I um, met some people on the trail. I have a little tip that I told them that hopefully will help you guys too. But if you're just cross country skiing for the first time and you have a little um, problems controlling yourself, make sure you like edge your skis a little bit. That will help. Um, okay, as always, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And you can follow me on social media. I'm at Danielle Dory and at Love Mean Adventures. Okay, peace out. Thanks for following along. Bye.